Hey everyone, so I wanted to share an IKEA standing desk hack that was inspired by Peter Marks who on his site he did a standing desk a while back and of course I thought man I love that desk and so I wanted to copy it. Hope it's okay. It is because actually several people have copied it. I just wanted to share mine with you. Now why a standing desk? Because sitting is corrosive. Uh, there's a lot of research out there that uh, show that sitting at a desk could be like the next big killer because of vascular disease, joint issues, all kinds of problems. I'm not going to go the whole list, but if you have to sit, if you're just in an environment where you have to sit, invest in a good chair. Herman Miller, Embody Chair. Protect your body, get the Embody. Look at that thing. That thing is sexy. It's got a spine on it. it looks Like I said, it looks like a spine, like the cyborg spine. I don't know. I won't get into that, but this chair is fully adjustable in every way. Tilts back, forward, this thing comes out, in, the arms go up, down, sideways, for, just any way, any which way but loose. You know, it does what it needs to do. And I noticed a huge difference. I bought a, an office supply, not like an Office Max kind of um, chair, but I bought, I went to a, like a commercial office supply store, furniture store, and bought a chair for like a few hundred dollars. And when I sat in it, at first I was like, oh yeah, this is a nice little chair. It's rugged, does what it's supposed to do. But then I started like, my neck was hurting, my shoulders were hurting. You know, I, I was adjusting the desk how I thought I should. My elbows were hurting. Come to find out it was the chair. I got this chair and like all that pain went away. I mean, amazing. And I'll still use this chair because I'm not going to always stand at my desk. I will also use this, um, use this chair at another desk that I have. Let's get to the desk, shall we? All right, so this setup is all IKEA bookshelves. Now, all the links will be below, so you'll know where to go or you know which ones to look for. This, of course, is like the uh, the vertical. So this goes like from the floor up to the wall, technically. So it's a, it's like a seventy two inch tall bookshelf, fully assembled. Okay, this is just one piece right here. There's my Fandroid speaker from Fandroid.com. These come from Ikea as well. You can get these for like five bucks or something each. Everything's held up by these bookshelves. Okay, again, I'm gonna put the links below. Now what I like about these bookshelves is that over there, I had a very long shelf that went almost, not the full length, but a good chunk of it. And it took up a lot of space where a lot of these items were over there and I was able to consolidate. And I put them over here. And I'll tell you about my console. Go over there in just a minute. I do want to tell you one other important thing here. Cable management. Always cable management. A lot of desks have those holes drilled into them where then you can put the wires down and feed them somewhere so you don't see them. Not this because it's all custom built. These are bookshelves. So you can get these at any hardware store uh, in the electrical department to put all your cords in. Okay. Oh, IKEA sells these too. All right, so let's come around. Oh, again, notice, fully assembled, all the shelves are in place, the sides are on. All right, now, this over here, not so much. The sides, so there's the, this side here, but not this to there, and no shelves, for obvious reasons, as you can tell, and I'll explain all that. What I really love, though, is that it gives me extra space to grab things on the go. Like this is my Nexus 7. I do grab this. I need it on the fly. Take it with me. Hole punch, stapler. Don't send me anything stapled. I don't like staples. I'm an unstapler. I've probably used that stapler like 10 times, and I've had it for years. So stop. Don't send them to me. Unstapled. Paper clips and the like. I run a radio show. And I keep all of this stuff here ready uh, because, you know, I always felt like I was always having to like, in my old setup, I was having to like get this out of the way, get it off my desk and move it. And this way I can actually keep, I can run my show, just pull the headphones out and the mic and keep the mixing board there. And of course I have my other mic here and of course the cable that goes there. As you can see, I consolidated here. So one small setup with my two printers. And then of course that's Ikea as well. I've had that for years. So I'll see if I can find the link and put that in the video, but those are easy to find in the office setup. So able to consolidate much smaller here, much smaller footprint here with all of this, these options in here, a lot, lot more space over here that I'm gonna do something with. I'm 
to do something with it. So when I'm on the phone, I like to, to get up and walk. So like if the phone, I mean, this thing rings constantly. It's like, oh, hold on. dude, are you still on the line? I'm shooting a video, man. I'll call you back. All right. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, so this phone rings constantly. And I like the fact that when it does ring, I can just grab it and say, hey, how's it going? And I can like walk around. You know, I can take my phone with me and, and have a call. I, I recommend everybody do that. If you're on the phone for a while, get up and move around. Now, important two, two other important things that I need to share with you. One, get an anti-fatigue mat. Now, this is the Anderson Hog Heaven mat. And what that does is that molds to my feet. So that molds to my feet. You ever stand on like concrete or like even a carpet? in like one place, even if you have comfortable shoes, but you don't move a ton and it like tires out your legs. You feel tired. This is supposed to cut down on that. And I already, I've already noticed a difference. So even though I've got carpet in here, get the anti-fatigue mat. Important. $49. I'll put a link below. Not affiliate. I'll put a link below. All right. You need to mount a keyboard and I'll tell you why. Okay. I will tell you why in just a second, but since I'm down here, this has a bracket that goes from here all the way to there. So the beauty about this bracket is that you can you mount this to that and then these two pieces are together. So I don't need any additional brackets to keep these two bookshelves together because these are two separate bookshelves. There's about 10 screws in there. And I'll share something important about those, the screws that are in there. All right, so why you want a keyboard mount? Well, Peter, is over six feet tall. I am not. If I had to put my keyboard here, I'm overextending myself. I'm already fatiguing my muscles and my joints because I'm up here. So I need something down here. I recommend an adjustable one that goes up, down, uh, and around, however you need it to. I use this. This was actually from a Bush desk, commercial grade desk that I already had that I disassembled and I took this from that. This whole setup was about $200. I think this keyboard mount was in itself was just under $200. I don't say that you, I'm not saying you have to get this one per, in particular, but definitely get one so that you can adjust yourself because you want to be like at a 90 degree, you know, you want everything to be down here. You don't want to overextend yourself and fatigue yourself and having this keyboard mount really helps. Also too, he had a shelf that came up here, which you can mount a shelf as well. I didn't do that because I wanted to be able to see straight on like I am now. I don't want to have to like look up or look down. I need to look straight. So with the mat and my height, I can see straight right now. I mean, I don't have to like do a lot of like adjusting. So ergonomics are really important. Now what I also need to sh share with you is these. When you mount anything in this desk, you need to know that it's hollow. <laughs> I mean, these are bookshelves and they're not necessarily, it support, I mean, look, this thing is supporting that really heavy iMac and that monitor and everything's fine. There's no buckling, there's no creaking or anything like that. But when you need to mount something, you need anchors. And I recommend the metal ones. These metal anchors also have little, if you can see these like little anchors, <laughs> little anchors for the anchors, uh, spikes. When you drill down into this piece of wood, Make sure that those spikes, you use a rubber mallet, use a rubber mallet and just gently hammer them in so that the spikes go in the wood and then gently screw in the screw or the bolt so that you don't strip that wood and it comes out. Okay, but I can say that there's 10, there's 10 screws in here, 10 bolts with this keyboard set up in the bracket. It holds everything together and this comes, I, I don't feel as if it's, it's flimsy at all. See? Phone's ringing. I told you, the phone is ringing. I gotta call him back. I'll let him know that I'm doing a video. I just let him know I'm doing a video. See, it rings. So anyway, this is one piece, this is one piece, this piece here, this piece here. Four pieces total for the setup that I got. I'll put the links below. Let me know what you think. Send me pictures. Uh, or videos of what you've done for a standing desk setup if you did something like this. Highly recommend it. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Appreciate you watching and I'll see you soon for more tidbits and nuggets of information.